Hi YouTube, so um, it's your girl Nelly. I'm here to share a quick word about fornication. So I'm going to start doing a series on a book called Spiritual Dangers. And I'm just going to start sharing like the dangers of fornication. Fornication means when you're having sex before marriage. And now we know our age group, a lot of them are doing it. Is it not true? So we can't deny it. We need this message more than we need the prosperity message. So the title of this message is How Fornication Corrupts and Destroys the Church. And just to let you know that you're the church, you're the body. So we're basically talking about you. Um, so number one, we need to understand that fornication is disobedience. When you fornicate, you're basically disobeying God. You're not disobeying your parents. You're not disobeying... Um, I don't know your girlfriend or your husband or whatever you're disobeying the creator of all and you're disobeying the king of kings which is god himself and because he says do not do it you know there's a scripture that says that um that there should not be once named among you that there is fornication so when you um the, ugh, sorry there shouldn't be what is it? let me just read it here isn't it oh, hold on will i find it Okay, yeah, in Ephesians 5, 3, and it says, fornication, not be once named. Like, oh, doing funny videos on Snapchat. But yeah, so we shouldn't hear once that um, you're fornicating. That's what the Bible is basically saying. And then, so that's number one, is that you're disobeying God. And if you say you love God, the scripture says, if you say you love God, then you must do what God tells you to do because God sees love as, God sees obedience as love. So if you say you love God, one of the ways that God sees that you love him is by obeying him. So by the fact that you're not, um, doing what he tells you to do that means you don't love him so you might as well stop lying to yourself and lying to us and telling us that you love God meanwhile you're having it every single day to somebody you're not married to word up so the next point is that fornication destroys your soul and this is one of my favorite parts, that it destroys your soul. It's one of the things that really freaks me out and scares me. Because if I know that it destroys my body, at least... As it says in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 32, it says, But whosoever committeth adultery with a woman lack of understanding he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul so when you're fornicating you're destroying your own soul and that's why there's a lot of girls can't they can't let go of guys or even there are guys that can't let go of certain girls that they've lost their virginity to it's like it really takes layers and layers of your soul and it's so hard um, to do soul cleansing and for you to retrieve the soul back again so you lose a part of you you kind of give a part of you to somebody else so it's very dangerous and then point three the last one that i'll share and then join me next time for part two three is fornication will destroy your body so it's going to destroy your body first corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 I mean, whether you're a Christian or not, these scriptures are so important and that's why I'm sharing them. It says, flee fornication. Every yes, sin so that in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18, it says, flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that, he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. So when you commit fornication, you're sinning against your own body. Can you imagine how that must feel when you're committing sin against your own body? That's why you end up with like HIV, um, you end up with all types of diseases, herpes. Um, it's just so disgusting and you can end up being pregnant and some way, some girls that get like um, some pills that they, or some, I don't know what they put on their body, but they end up putting on so much weight. But yeah, so there's a lot of dangers. Um, let me just read this. If you commit a crime against the state, you said to be destroying the state. That is why the state will arrest and persecute you. In the same way, when you commit fornication, you commit a crime against your body and God will persecute you for it. So that's it from me guys today. So um, I'm going to come back next time for part two of the message. So just remember the moral of the story is just wait till you're married. Don't think that you will not get married. You will get married. Just learn on how to pick up guys or if you're a girl or if you're a guy, just learn, up, learn how to pick up girls and I don't know whatever you're looking for in that person make sure you have it yourself and surely surely you will get married so don't say oh I don't think I'll ever get married so let me just have it now no 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 please just wait 
Waiting patience is a virtue. Would, don't you want to be a man of virtue or a woman of virtue? If that's a yes, then that's what you gotta do. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm your YouTube pastor. Bye-bye. <laughs>